I just love a great party. And not just going to them, I love planning them. How to decorate, what to eat, what games we'll play. And I especially love making a party playlist with a soundtrack that gets everyone dancing and remembering why we're there to celebrate in the first place. And this summer, we're discovering we have a lot to celebrate as we continue to start the party and celebrate the good news we find in Jesus. God made a plan to bring us back into relationship through Jesus. God is constantly at work in and through us. And in the end, God will make all things new. And that's major cause for joy. We've been taking this whole summer to remember just how incredible life can be when we trust God and follow Jesus with our lives. That's the kind of life that reminds us to have joy. Joy is choosing to celebrate what God is doing. And we have some amazing, joy-filled stories from the New Testament that help us discover how we can find joy no matter what, including our memory verse for this month, Philippians 4.4, 4, where Paul writes, always be joyful because you belong to the Lord. I will say it again, be joyful. Paul wasn't kidding around. He had experienced all sorts of ups and downs as he followed Jesus. But instead of getting upset and complaining, Paul chose joy and lived that out with his entire life. Now, let's take a closer look at our four stories for the month. We kick off July with a Christmas party as we look more closely at a familiar story found in Luke 2, 8 through 20. That's right, Jesus has been born and some unsuspecting shepherds were startled when an angel appeared in the sky announcing the birth of God's son. And that was good news that would bring great joy to all people. They rushed to find Jesus and worship him, and the joy they experienced couldn't be contained. They left and went through the town announcing that a savior had been born, a savior that brings us joy today. Bottom line, Jesus brings joy to the world. Then in week two, we find out more about what many believe was Jesus' first recorded miracle. In John 2, 1 through 11, we find Jesus, his mom, and the rest of the disciples attending a wedding. A wedding celebration could last four days, and the hosts were expected to provide all the food and drink for their guests. The wedding feast was in full swing until Mary noticed a big problem. All the wine was gone. Mary believed that Jesus could help. Jesus ended up turning giant jars of water into wine to make sure the guests at the wedding could continue their celebration. This story is a great reminder to surround ourselves with people who can help us find joy. Bottom line, Jesus showed us how to have joy. The following week, we check out something the Apostle Paul wrote about joy in Romans 12, 15. Be joyful with those who are joyful. Be sad with those who are sad. Part of showing others Jesus' love is being with them through the ups and downs of life. God can use us to remind others how God has been faithful to them in the past and will continue to be with them into the future. And that, that's reason to find joy. Bottom line, you can help others find joy. We finished our series about joy thinking about the ultimate joy of spending forever with Jesus. We head to Revelation 21 and 22, one through five, where John gives us a glimpse into what it might look like to be with God for all of eternity. While life right now might be difficult, we can remember that God is making all things new. A world without tears, sickness, and death. Our ultimate hope, our ultimate joy, all because of what God has done and is continuing to do through Jesus. Bottom line, celebrate what God will do. The amazing thing about joy is that we don't need to find it on our own. True joy is a gift from God's spirit that grows as we follow Jesus day by day. When we trust that God is always working in our lives, our eyes become open to the amazing ways God loves us. We find reasons to start the party and celebrate. And we hope that this summer, no matter if you're at home or on the road with family or friends, or even all by yourself, you'll discover ways to celebrate Jesus and the joy-filled life he came to give.